Hi, Simone Sone. How are you? I'm good, Tony. How are you? I'm doing very well. I'm excited to have you back for another gangbang. How are you feeling about it? I'm really nervous right now. Yeah? I'm really nervous, yeah. I what flipped through the gangbangs before and I'm like, everybody says that in the beginning. I wanted to be original, but no, I'm really nervous. You know, that's because that's normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and healthy. I think it's healthy to have a little bit of yeah. um, nerves before you embark on a gangbang journey. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I think you're right. Tell me what um what things stick out in your mind from your past gangbangs, what you liked and what brought you back from that? Um I remember uh the very beginning when they when I first walked in the door and they grabbed me, mm -hmm. like immediately my heart starts racing. Mm -hmm. I know my pussy got wet right away. Mm -hmm. I know that like there was all of a sudden sensory overload. Just like, you know, just like that. And um I remember being so turned on, like, the whole time. Even the stuff that was hard, mm -hmm. you know, was still, you know, was so turned on. It's mm -hmm. funny because my body will just open up. If I'm turned on, everything works. Mm -hmm. If I'm not turned on, you know, you can't cram anything in there. So <laughs> it was kind of cool. You know, I got two dicks in my ass that time. Mm -hmm. I, um, I, got two, I think we did double, double badge. I think, I think, I think we did. Mm -hmm. I like that. I yeah. do that in my spare time for fun sometimes. <laughs> so I know it'll go. Um... The guys were fantastic, you know, it was just really, um, it was my very first shoot, mm -hmm. that my last, my last, you know, for Bound Gang Bangs, mm -hmm. very first shoot I ever did. Yeah. So it was really, um, it was, the whole experience was, was really cool. Now I know kind of how the whole day goes, mm -hmm. I know how it works on set, and I know those sorts of things, and so, you know, there's really only one thing to worry about, and that's just, you know, the whole little dick and the, you know, the whole action, just the action, <laughs> so, but I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. Yay! So, um, I know the fantasy that we're doing today, but um, why don't you tell me again and uh, so the members can hear what fantasy you requested for your game today. Okay. So, first let me, I want to thank you for letting me do that and submit that because then, you know, I can really use my imagination and mm -hmm. make it something that is, it's really close to home. Mm -hmm. It's something that, you know, has happened, similar, mm -hmm. similar situation has happened. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. basically, I am a newbie swinger. Mm -hmm. And coming with my husband, you know, who was also a newbie swinger, mm -hmm. to a swingers party mm -hmm. for our very first time. Mm -hmm. And so we're nervous and we're apprehensive and, you know, I swing, mm -hmm. we swing, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a close to home sort of a thing. So it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely not new, but that part is like, right. I see the new people come in sometimes and they're so nervous. <laughs> like it's just, they're like thinking, you know, we're going to, our heads are going to look at us like our heads are going to spin around and, you know, we're going to start doing crazy, really weird things. And it's just, you know, it's just all in good fun. Yeah. But anyway, um, this particular house is different because, um, it's kind of more like a gangbang mm -hmm. group, but they don't get their, you know, members that way. They, you know, they're like known as a swingers party. Mm -hmm. The girls kind of go off and they do their thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the hostess, you know, has goes, you know, grabs my husband and mm -hmm. takes him off to fuck his brains out all mm -hmm. night long, which leaves just the other husbands out and they mm -hmm. just totally ravish me and mm -hmm. leave me like sopping wet and completely all fucked out and you know, at the end husband comes back out, Wow honey, can we do this again next weekend? <laughs> you know, that sort of <laughs> right. that sort of thing. He has no idea what happened. Yeah, you know, everybody's all busy doing their own thing. It just is like a just like a mauling kind of mm -hmm. thing. So it's kinda of like a it's just a disclaimer, I've never been to a swingers party that was like this, so don't be afraid if you go to a swingers party. But <laughs> this is the way I imagine it happening this is, in my... This is, this is your, your chance yeah. to live out your swinger gangbang fantasy. Totally. <laughs> totally. So. Wonderful. And um, in, the, in the script that you submitted to me, you did include that you want, that you want to struggle and kind of yes. fight them off and you want to... You don't want to give in willingly. Yes, that was the other thing. Um, and when I look back at my other gangbang, and which is, it's going to be a struggle. It'll be a struggle for me to do that because mm -hmm. I really like, I enjoy being gangbang. Mm -hmm. I enjoy, I love cock. I love mm -hmm. more than one cock. I mm -hmm. love that sort of thing. So the struggle element will be totally <clears throat> fake and false. Uh -huh. But, you know, that's, I wanted that. Because I didn't get to do that in the last one. Mm -hmm. Not past, you know, I think that I still had an article or two of clothing on mm -hmm. when I started to get it get, to give into it mm -hmm. so I did I wanted to feel struggle for at least you know at least like the first half of it mm -hmm. you know I don't think I could make it much farther <laughs> than that in all honesty and what is it about the struggle that is appealing to you it kind of brings that rape fantasy element into it for me because I've not done that 
yet, but <clears throat> as a as a girl, you know, at mas you know, from the time I started masturbating, that's been something that has mm -hmm. been hot to me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't think that anybody decides that they want to really actually go out and get raped and that sort of thing, but that no, I don't want it because mm -hmm. what it does is it relieves you of responsibility for what happens and so anything can happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like things to be done to me and, you know, it just it without like you just completely letting go. Mm -hmm. Completely letting go and just letting it all happen and just letting it all flow is is really a hot element. And yeah. So the story, we'll see how we'll see how it feels at the end if I like the struggle part or if I was like, no, I just wanted to fuck or something like that. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Yeah. And um, so so you know you have a safe word, correct? Yes. And do you remember what your safe word is? Yes, red. Mm -hmm. And if you have something in your mouth and you can't say red, what do you do? Uh uh uh. Exactly. So you can use your safe word at any time if anything's too much for you. If you need a break, if you need a hug, if you need uh, to run to the bathroom, you need more lube, you need water. For any reason, if you need to break out of character, um, that's how you stop the scene. Okay. So you understand and the members understand that while you might say, no, get off me, stop. Right. If you actually want to stop, what do you do? Red. Mm -hmm. Say red. And so this time I will be saying, no, get off me, stop. And I don't mean no, get off me, stop. That, you know, when you don't say red, everything means go harder, go harder, mm -hmm. or keep going, or keep going. And so, yeah, yeah they'll see a lot of that this time. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I won't get into it. You can hold out. I know. <laughs> that's the part that's going to be the most challenging in this for me is, you know, is refusing it because I remember in the last gangbang how good it felt to like just melt into the whole thing mm -hmm. and it happened really fast yeah so we'll see and it was funny I remember I was very giggly I get very giggly mm -hmm. and I so it's gonna be really cool to see the direction of this takes because it's kind of a serious situation mm -hmm. so we'll see how long I can hold out on that role play <laughs> wonderful all right so um I'm sure that most of the members are fans of yours already but for those of you them who don't know you tell us tell us a little bit about what you like what you're looking forward to, if there's any specific things that you're looking forward to today, like, you know, the rough sex or the manhandling or just, or the kissing, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so the rough sex and the manhandling are, are that's, that's kind of like my, that's my go-to mm -hmm. spot. I love, I love hands around, big man hands around my neck. Mm -hmm. I love, you know, a fistful of hair. I like, you know, man hands all over my body, not just my neck. I like uh, to be, like, tossed around and and flipped around and you know like the whole ragdoll mm -hmm. sort of thing mm -hmm. is is really really hot that he feels so good I don't know <laughs> from the time I was a little girl being tossed in the pool you know so and just flailing into the air that's yeah. just been I like to be picked up just in general when I was younger yes. I used to love like we had a professional dancer next door and I, since I was you know tiny he would just spin me around and do all the dancers with me it was so fun so it is fun because it feels like just like you're flying it feels yeah. like you're yeah. It's just fun. So I'm thinking, you know, I'd love to, I've never, um, I get fucked standing up, but I've never taken two cocks standing up at the mm -hmm. same time. That would be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. You know, just all kinds of different yeah. things. I know that, you know, since I'm, it's hard to say, like, I know once I say the kinds of things that I like to do, it's kind of just all up to the guys mm -hmm. and the way that it goes, the direction mm -hmm. that it goes, because, mm -hmm. you know, that's all part of letting go. Mm -hmm. But so some rough sex and trying some new positions. Yeah, new positions. I like two dicks in my pussy. That feels really, really good. I like that. I like that, and I like the dirty talk. I mm -hmm. really like dirty talk. Mm -hmm. That that turns me on. Mm -hmm. You know, a whole Should lot. Should they talk about what your husband's doing downstairs? Oh yeah, he's got the talk. Stop oh, fucked out of him. I heard he doesn't hear you. Mm -hmm. He ain't coming. Your husband doesn't even care what you're doing. No, <laughs> no, you filthy whore. You know. <laughs> Wonderful. All that stuff. All right, cool. Well, I think we can make all of that happen. So are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Let's do it. Yeah.